Hello, good evening. Good evening, teacher. Good evening, how are you today? Good evening. Good evening. Good evening. Thank you, and you? Really good, thank you for asking. How are you doing with the platform? Finish? Now, section number two. Done, section number two finished? Yes. Okay, that's perfect. And the rest of you, have you finished the exercises from section one and two? I don't know. <laughs> no, you haven't finished. No. terminado los ejercicios todavía. No. Oh, what happened? Um, por el trabajo, pero vamos a avanzar. Vamos a avanzar ya mañana. Okay. Okay, perfect. Okay, you have the weekend. Tienen el fin de semana para avanzar. Tienen que ir por lo menos um, hasta la tre a la mitad de la tres. Por lo menos tienen que haber avanzado dentro del fin de semana. So, uh, para que estén al día. So, today we're going to continue with section number three. Ayer empezamos la sección número tres. Uh, what do you remember about yesterday's class? Jobs, occupations. What jobs do you remember? You don't remember? Yes, there are. Uh -huh. We review and finish there is and there are. What else do you remember? Oh, yes, we studied about professions and occupations. What professions or occupations uh, do you remember? Waiter, waitress. Waiter, waitress, uh huh. Nurse. Nurse, okay. Taxi driver. Taxi driver, okay. Doctor, uh, policy. Okay. What else? Yeah. Yeah. Nurse. Secretary. Secretary. Okay. Cashier. Doctor. Cashier. Doctor. Okay. From this. From this. Ah, yes, front desk clerk. Yes, front desk clerk. Singer. Okay, good. Okay, those are some vocabulary and activities that we remember. So we discuss about uh, um, professions, occupations. We study some of them. I don't remember if we practice pronunciation with this one. Okay. Let us repeat at home. Here we have some kind of, uh, maybe you can find new ones here. Tal vez encuentran algunas nuevas por acá. So let's repeat. Accountant. Accountant. Bellhop. Bellhop. Cashier. Cashier. Doctor. Doctor. Electrician. Electrician. From the clerk. From From nurse. Nurse. nurse, office manager, office, office manager. manager, painter, painter, plumber, plumber, plumber. police officer, police officer. officer, receptionist, receptionist, salesperson, salesperson, security guard. Security, Security world. World. Taxi driver. Taxi, Taxi driver. driver. Vendor. 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 Okay, so you have these ones and you have some of them on the platform and some others are different. En la plataforma van a encontrar algo similar y unas diferentes. But it's, it's basically the same. Do you have any question about this vocabulary? Not okay, so if there are no questions, we're going to continue. 
uh, with the next slide. Okay, we're going to write about professions that we know. And for example, we're going to write a doctor works in a hospital and wears a uniform, okay? So this is what we're gonna do now is to practice writing about some professions and occupations. You also will find some vocabulary that is in the platform. So we have a, uh, some workplaces here in a hospital, in an office, in a store, in a hotel. Can you tell me some professions that work in a hospital besides doctor and nurse? What other uh, uh, kind of people that work in a hospital? Receptionist. Receptionist, okay, we can find a receptionist. Patient. Um, sorry? Pacientes? Uh, yeah, Person. we can, uh, professions. Ah, professions. I have okay. people that work mm -hmm. in a hospital. Mm -hmm. um, security guard. A uh, security guard works in a hospital too, yes. Accountant? Yes, accountant. Yes, excellent. Social work. Okay. Um, in an yeah. office. Internist, internist, secretary. Okay, in an office we can find a secretary, yes. Um, front desk clerk. Front desk clerk, yes. Receptionist. Receptionist, yes. Accountant. Accountant, mm -hmm. supervisor, manager, manager. <laughs> customer, um, a customer specialist, probably, un especialista en clientes, probably. Una atención al cliente, yes. Mm -hmm. La persona que hace la limpieza, teacher. Ah, you can call it maintenance or janitor. Se los voy a escribir por acá. Mm -hmm. And... Okay, yeah, we can call it janitor. Janitor. This is the person who cleans. Janitor. Uh -huh, janitor. Mm -hmm. Okay, uh, let's continue. In a store? Salesman. Vendor. Be uh, salesperson. Mm -hmm. Because vendor, ayer dijimos que un vendor es como informal, un, informal, un comerciante. Y un salesperson <coughs> trabaja en una tienda, siempre como vendedor, pero ya es como un trabajo en tienda. Y a vendedor, vendor es como informal o, o un comerciante, ¿verdad? Sí. Eh, que sería un independiente. Ajá, como independiente, sí, un vendedor independiente. Ok, what about in a hotel? Who works in a hotel? Bellboy. Bellboy. Bellboy or bellhop, yes. Receptionist. 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 Plumber. Plumber, yes. Plumber. Yes. Front Security desk. Security guard. Security guard, excellent. Okay, and we have some of the activities that they perform. Aquí hay algunas actividades que ellos hacen. Let's repeat. Where's a uniform? Where's a uniform? Stands all day. Stands all day. Sits all day. Sits all day. Handles money. Handles money. Talks to people. Works at night. Works at night. Works hard. Works hard. Makes a lot of money. Makes a lot of money. Okay. Uh, do you have any question about this vocabulary? 
handles money and make a lot of money. Okay, handle money es uh, manipular dinero. Handle quiere decir manipular. Handles money es manipular dinero y makes a lot of money es hacer mucho dinero. Okay. Ajá, aquí los verbos los tenemos conjugados en tercera persona. Si se fijan, llevan S o S al final, lo que explicábamos, ¿verdad? ¿Qué va a suceder? Cuando estemos haciendo oraciones afirmativas. ¿Qué vamos a hacer ahorita? Vamos a escribir algunas oraciones eh, como esta. A doctor works in a hospital and wears a uniform. Otro ejemplo les voy a escribir por aquí. Pueden inventárselos, no necesariamente lo que les he puesto ahí, ¿verdad? Pueden usar, claro, lo que les he puesto ahí. <coughs> Pero vamos a crear nuevos ejemplos. Eh, por ejemplo, I can say a lawyer. <coughs> a lawyer. Ay, a lawyer. Works. Uh, in a court or in an office. It can be in an office. Um, and uh, makes, I can say, and makes a lot of money. Okay. So I am mentioning the profession, the workplace, and the, one of the activities. Okay, a lawyer works in an office and makes a lot of money. Uh, what else I can say? A nurse works in a, in a hospital and takes care of patients, okay? Those are two examples. You can say a nurse works in a hospital <laughs> and takes care of patients, okay? So you need to write a couple of examples like this one. Les voy a dar un par de minutos para que escriban un par de oraciones similares a estos ejemplos. No sé si las están copiando para pasar a la pantalla del, de la presentación. Yo sí las estoy copiando. Ok, les voy a dar tiempo para que las copien. Gracias. Ok.
Okay, volunteers to share your sentences? Volunteers? Me. Okay. A mechanic work in a garage and fix car. Okay, a mechanic works in a garage and fixes cars. Okay, fixes cars. Very car. good. Okay. A judge Very, uh, works in an office and sits all day. Okay, nice example, Edgar. A judge works in an office and sits all day. That's what I heard in a court. Okay, that's nice. Nice sentence. Another volunteer? Me. Okay. The farm fire were in the station and were on Hamel. Okay, pretty good. Thank you so much. Another example? Me. A counter work in an office and hand, handle money. Okay, very nice. Nice job. Another? Me. Me. Sarai, okay. Sí. okay. A, a teacher in a school uh, teaches uh, a student. Okay, excellent. A teacher works in a school and teaches students. Perfect. Yes. Thank you so much. Another? Me. Uh, a cashier wor works hard in a store uh, all day. Okay, pretty good. Another volunteer? An architect work in a construction and build and build house. Okay, excellent sentences. A policeman wears hard wears a uniform. Excellent. Another? A vendor. A vendor works in a store, make a loot or money. Okay, excellent. Another example? A uh, police office wear a uh, uniform and works taking cards of social security. Perfect. And count works it all day in the offices. Uh, okay. Okay, very good. Nice job. Another volunteer? A waitress. Okay. A security work works at night and works hard. Okay, pretty good. Thank you so much. Another? A waitress to work in a restaurant and is down all day. Okay, pretty good. Thank you so much. Another? That's all? Okay, I heard that you've been doing a very nice job. Hicieron un muy buen, buen trabajo. Solo en algunas oraciones no escuché que estuvieran aplicando las reglas de la S en el verbo. No sé si es, eh, a veces no se distingue, ¿verdad? Pero sí, solo recuerden de que siempre cuando estemos haciendo oraciones afirmativas en el simple present, eh, para la tercera persona, como estamos hablando de un él o un ella, ¿verdad? Tenemos que ir agregando S al verbo, como aquí, words, stands, seats, handles, talks, words makes, works, and like that. Okay, that's it. So let us continue then. And pronunciation, that's the next exercise that we have in the platform. Pronunciation, reduction of do and does. We're going to watch the video and then we're going to practice the reduction of do and does. Hi everyone, in this class you'll learn to sound natural 
when asking simple present WH questions. Native English speakers reduce or omit many different words. This is the reason why you may not understand the program on TV even though you understand the script or dialogue in writing. This is a big pronunciation topic. However, in this class, we will talk about the reduction of do and does. Pronunciation. Reduction of do and does. Listen and practice. Notice the reduction of do and does. Where do you work? What do you do? Where does he work? What does he do? Where do they work? What do they do? If we analyze the first example, where do you work? If you notice, do you are sort of like underlined at the bottom. Essentially, what we're trying to explain by this is that we are connecting those two words. This is called linking in English. So when that happens, the sound changes from being where do you work to where do you work? As I mentioned, this is a very big pronunciation topic, which you learn by listening carefully and repeating. So let me read out the examples without the reduction and with the reduction of do and does so that you can have a better idea. Where do you work? Where do you work? Where does he work? Where does he work? Where do they work? Where do they work? What do you do? What do you do? What does he do? What does he do? What do they do? What do they do? Now, I would like for you to practice and also to watch your favorite TV program in English. And notice the reduction of do and does. Okay, what do you understand from the video? What did you understand from that video? Is the video clear? Eh, aprender a, a unir el do con, con la palabra anterior o posterior? Yes, that is called linking in English. Eso se llama linking link. in English. Link es unir. Um, es, um, esto nos ayuda como a sonar más natural. Es cuando unimos palabras. Y es por eso que cuando estamos escuchando personas americanas que están hablando, ellos usan mucho de unir, o sea, hacer links, o a veces incluso omiten sonidos, palabras, o eh, por eso es que a veces eh, nos es, eh, tenemos que acostumbrarnos a, a, a esto. Y por eso en el video se les recomienda que miren su programa favorito, Y uh, en inglés, ¿verdad? Y que se pongan a escuchar a donde escuchen las reducciones o las uniones de do. Mm -hmm. And then you can practice pronunciation. So, uh, if we read it like this, we say, where do you work? But if you link this, it says, where do you work? Where do you work? Where do you work? Uh-huh. Where do you do? Where do they work? What do they do? So it sounds very fast in that way. And well, what you can do is to listen to the video on the platform and try to repeat. Repeat as many times as you can. Uh, okay. Okay, after that, we have a conversation and here we are going to try to practice linking words as we show on the video. Let me uh, share the video with you for that conversation and then we're going to practice pronunciation in groups. Let me get ready with Oh, wow. Hi everyone, in this class you'll learn to form WH questions. Additionally, you'll practice a conversation which illustrates how this topic is used in a real life setting. 
I would like to get started by listening to a conversation titled, He Works in a Hotel. Let's listen and practice. Where does your brother work? In a hotel. Oh, really? My brother works in a hotel, too. He's a front desk agent. How does he like it? Not very much. He doesn't like the manager. That's too bad. What hotel does he work for? The Plaza. That's funny. My brother works there, too. Oh, that's interesting. What does he do? Actually, he's the manager. Now, let's try to understand how to form simple present questions. Let's analyze the examples on the chart. Simple present WH questions. Where do you work? In a hospital. What do you do? I'm a doctor. How do you like it? I really like it. Where does he work? In a hotel. What does he do? He's a manager. How does he like it? It's okay. Where do they work? In a restaurant. What do they do? They're waiters. How do they like it? They hate it. In order to form simple present WH questions, we will follow this next formula. WH word plus do or does plus subject plus the verb plus complement. It's also important to remember the following. Whenever we talk about the pronouns I, you, we, and they, we will use the auxiliary verb do. Whenever we talk about the pronouns he, she, and it, we will use the auxiliary verb does. So let's try to make sense of the first example on the chart. Where do you work? At the beginning of our sentence, we have the WH word where. Then we have the auxiliary verb do. After that, we have the subject. Finally, we have the verb work. Let's analyze one more example. Where does he work? At the beginning of our sentence, we have the WH word where. Uh, then we have the auxiliary verb does. After that we have the subject he. Finally we have the verb work. Now it's your turn to practice making as many questions as possible. Think of your friends, family, and co-workers and their jobs. You need to make questions and answers just like the examples we saw in this lesson. After you finish this task, make sure that you share your work in our discussion forums. Okay, well the first thing that you watched on the video was the conversation, so we're going to practice the conversation first. And then we will practice the WH questions in simple present. Okay, so we have the conversation here. It's quite similar to the ones that you already saw on the video. And what we're going to do is to practice it, and then we're going to practice in groups. So let's read. You can repeat at home if you want. Where does your brother work? In a hotel. Hotel. Oh, really? My brother works in a hotel, too. He's a front desk clerk. How does he like it? He hates it. He doesn't like the manager. That's too bad. What hotel does he work for? The plaza. That's funny. My brother works there, too. Okay. Oh, that's interesting. What does he do? Actually, he's the manager. Sounds like someone is in trouble. <laughs> okay. Yeah. Uh, do you have any question about vocabulary? What is this? There is a E. No, there. No, no, he said Dex. He's from 
desk clerk? El front desk clerk es como un recepcionista similar. Ah, ok. Uh -huh. Un front desk clerk. Gracias. Ok. Any other question? Ah, that question, how does he like it, se refiere a qué tanto le gusta su trabajo. How does he like it? Si se fijan, le contesta, he hates it, lo odia. It means that he doesn't like it. Ya vamos a practicar más esa pregunta. Uh -huh. Any other question? Hello? Do you have any other question? No teacher. No teacher. No questions. Okay. Perfect. Uh, so, uh, I don't know if you have taken the picture of the conversation because I'm going to create section in groups so you can practice. Voy a hacer las secciones de grupo, solo les recuerdo que tomen una fotito para que la tengan ahí. Pues ya saben que cuando los pongo en grupo se desaparece, ya no pueden ver esta pantalla. A menos que yo me meta en su sección y la comparta. ¿Ready? Ready. Ok, perfect. So, remember that van a dar clic en join o unirse para que puedan este, quedar en grupos con sus compañeros. Ahorita les va a salir el mensaje. Other work in in a hostel. In a oh, hotel. really? My brother works in a hotel too. He's a front desk clerk. How does he like? He hates <clears throat> hates it. He doesn't like the manager. Thanks to Bob. What other does he work for? The plaza. Hola. The plaza. Thanks, fa thanks, funny. My brother works there, there too. Oh, that's interesting. What does he do? Actuality, actuality, he is the manager. Okay. Okay, good, good. Uh, in this word is actually. 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 Okay. Actually. Okay. okay. And in el, el, el it casi siempre se une. Por ejemplo, aquí, how does he like it? Like it. Like it. Mm, okay. He hates it. Hates it. Okay. Si quiere, Gerardo, empiece usted y yo okay. le respondo. Okay. Where does your brother work? In a hotel. Oh, really? My brother works in a hotel too. He's a front desk clerk. How does he like it? He hates it. He doesn't like the manager. That's too bad. What hotel? Does he work for? The plaza. That's funny. My brother works there too. Oh, that's interesting. What does he do? Actually, he's the manager. Okay. Actually. Okay, pretty good. Excellent. It sounds very fluent. So, no bien fluido. So, you can continue practicing. You did it excellent. Okay. Um, uh, how does he 
he likes it. He hates it. He don't like the manager. That's too bad. What hotel does he work for? The plaza. The funny, the funny my brother was there too. Oh, that's interesting. What does he do? Actuality, uh, he the manager. Okay, there you go. Very nice job. Le hicieron muy bien. Uh, solo um, recordemos que acá eh, hay palabras que las vamos a unir, por decirlo así. Por ejemplo, las que van con it. How does he like it? Like it. Like it. Okay. How does he like it? And this one too. He hates it. He hates it. Mm -hmm. And this one is actually. La pronunciación acá es actually. Actually. Actually, he's the man. Okay. Continue practicing. Muchas gracias. Thank you. Thank you. ¿Quién sigue? Sigo de Ángela, yo si quieren. ¿Quién hace de, de Rachel? Where's that you my where's that you brother work? In a hotel. Oh really? My brother was in a hotel too. But doesn't he like it? Uh, how does he like it? I know. He, can I his dick. He hates it. She doesn't like the manager. That's too bad. What hotel doesn't he work for? The, the plus. In a hotel. Oh, really? My brother works in a hotel too. He's from Des Claire. How does he leave it? He hides it. He doesn't like the manager. That's too bad. What hotel does he work for? The Plaza. That's funny. My brother works here too. There too. Oh, that's interesting. What does he do? Actuality, he's the manager. Very good. What does your brother work in a hotel? Oh, really? My brother works in a hotel too. He's a front desk clerk. How does he like it? He hates it. He doesn't like the manager. That's too bad. What hotel does he work for? The plaza. That's funny. My brother works there too. Oh, that's interesting. What does he do? Actually, he's the manager. Okay. Where are the, so where? you're reading the conversation or solo la están leyendo, no están practicando como el diálogo. Es, es ya, lo hicimos, ya lo hicimos, teacher. Ah, okay. Ya lo conversamos así, las tres, solo dos, y luego las otras dos. Yeah. Okay, I just heard some some words like for example, uh, when when you are pronouncing uh, por ejemplo aquí. He hates it. He hates it. Hates it. Uh -huh. Hates it. Hates it. Hates it. Hates it. Hates it. Hates it. Maki, like it. Like it. Like it. Yes. How does he like it? How does he like it? Like it. Y la otra que escuché. Uh, actually. 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 Uh -huh. Actually. 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 Okay. Actually. Yeah. Actually, he's, he's manager. the manager. Actually, yes, manager. very good. Okay, thank you. He's a front desk clerk.
Okay, almost everybody. Solo me faltan tres. Okay. Creo que ya están todos. Yeah. Okay. So, um, now that we have finished practicing pronunciation, we're going to continue with the topic of the WH questions. Um, esta es parte de lo que vieron en el video, la estructura de las WH questions, ¿verdad? ¿Qué recuerdan de las WH questions? Esta ya la hemos visto anteriormente. So, what do you remember? No se pueden responder con sí o no. No se pueden contestar con sí o no. Ajá. Hay que dar información, ¿verdad? Van al principio de la oración, de la pregunta. La WH word va al principio de la pregunta. Ajá. ¿Qué significa who? ¿Quién? What? ¿Qué? When? ¿Cuándo? 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 Ahí. ¿Dónde? ¿Dónde? Ya. Yeah. Why? ¿Qué? ¿Por qué? ¿Por qué? How? ¿Cómo? ¿Cómo? ¿How often? Cada cuándo. Cada cuánto o qué tan seguido, ajá, con qué frecuencia. Es para preguntar con qué frecuencia uno hace algo. Eh, how much? De costo. Ajá, lo podemos usar para costo o para hablar de cantidades también. Por ejemplo, si yo le quiero preguntar cuánta azúcar necesitas. How much sugar do you need? Right? Okay, so the structure, la estructura tal como vieron en el video, es primeramente van a escribir la WH word, que son estas que tenemos aquí. Luego, el auxiliar do o das, dependiendo, ¿verdad? Do I, do you. Con la tercera persona singular vamos a usar das. Does he, does she, does it. Y con los plurales vamos a usar do. Do you, do we, do they. Ok, so remember that. El auxiliar va a depender del sujeto, ¿verdad? Luego de escribir el auxiliar, vamos a escribir el sujeto. Aquí tenemos pronombres, pero también se pueden utilizar los nombres de las personas. Y finalmente, el verbo. Allá aquí ya no vamos a hacer cambios en el verbo, porque tenemos el auxiliar. Los cambios de la S, S y todo eso lo hacemos solo en oraciones afirmativas, tercera persona singular. Y finalmente puede haber complemento o ya terminamos con el question mark. Ok. Uh, questions so far? ¿Tienen alguna pregunta hasta acá? No. En el caso de, de, de la pregunta que dice How do you, que al final está el it en la, en la lectura. No sé. Eh, ¿En qué? Aquí donde How does it feel like it? O sea, la pregunta termina con it y no con el verbo. Es el it. Ajá. Sí, es. Esta pregunta, el mm -hmm. verbo es like, no es it. O más o menos qué específico de la pregunta. ¿Por qué está elite al final? ¿Quieres saber? Oh. Creo que es... Uh, uh -huh. How does... Aquí tenemos la question word, como dice en el chart. This is how. Luego el auxiliar. Luego el sujeto. Luego el verbo. Y este es el complemento. El it se está refiriendo al trabajo. Uh -huh. Ya okay, vamos a practicar entonces, más esta. Eh, este sería como un complemento. Ajá. Eh, mm, le voy a poner un ejemplo ahorita. Para ver si puede. Vamos a explicar mejor aquí. Uh, Ok, yo le puedo preguntar, what do you do? 
le puedo preguntar qué hace usted, ¿verdad? What do you do? Y usted me contesta, I am, um, I don't know, cashier, soy una cajera. Ah, entonces yo le pregunto, how, acordémonos que how significa cómo, de qué forma. Luego el auxiliar do, el sujeto. Y finalmente este. Ok. Eh, si yo le pregunto, what do you do? ¿Qué le estoy preguntando? ¿Qué haces o a qué te dedicas? Usted me responde, soy una cajera. I am a cashier. Entonces, si yo le pregunto, how do you like it? Eh, ¿Qué tanto te gusta? El que esto se está refiriendo a su trabajo. Y podría sustituirlo y poner tu trabajo. How do you like your job? Uh -huh. Para evitarme todo eso, le pongo el it. Como ya sí. se sabe que estamos hablando de un trabajo, entonces a eso se refiere este it. Uh -huh. Entonces, esta pregunta okay. es como... Mm, ¿Qué tanto te gusta tu trabajo? Entonces ahí usted puede responder de diferentes maneras. I really, I really like it. Me gusta mucho. Realmente me gusta. O puede decir, I love it. Le encanta su trabajo. Mm, si no le gusta mucho, I don't like it very much. No me gusta mucho. El it siempre se va refiriendo al asunto del que estamos hablando, ¿verdad? Que en este caso es el trabajo. Ahora sí, ya me expliqué mejor. O le, podemos hacer más ejemplos. Aquí la cosa no es ir corriendo. Es a que no se me queden atrás y que comprendan bien todo. Así que no tengan pena si quieren que hagamos más ejemplos. You just tell me. Is it okay? Yeah, ya le comprendí, teacher. Excellent. Igual lo vamos a seguir practicando en el Gran Mar Focus. Vamos a llegar a esa parte. And uh, vamos a borrar. Okay. So we're going to continue uh, explaining the, okay, the structure. Okay. What do we have here? Okay, simple present WH questions. Esto es lo que tenemos en el Grammar Focus, que era lo que estamos hablando, ¿verdad? Estas son como decir tres conversaciones, ¿verdad? Teníamos la primera, where do you work? In a hospital. What do you do? I am a doctor. How do you like it? I really like it. ¿Ok? Y tenemos la otra, where does he work? In a hotel. What does he do? He's a manager. How does he like it? Uh, it's okay. Where, they, uh, where do they work? In a store. What do they do? They're cashiers. How do they like it? They hate it. Okay. Son las diferentes maneras en que usted puede contestar esta pregunta. I really like it. En realidad me gusta. It's okay, es como que eh, está bien, no, no es malo, no, es un trabajo bueno, ok. Uh, they hate it, lo odian, I hate it, ok. So, um, any questions so far? Questions? Not sure. Okay, so we still have time to practice this a little bit more. Uh, for example, let's see, uh, Araceli, what do you do, Araceli? Uh, your microphone is off. Yeah, hoy sí lo oímos. What do you do, Araceli? 
Me pregunto qué estás haciendo, ¿verdad? Creo que tiene problemas con el audio, con la conexión. I don't know. Vamos a darle tiempo. Eh, eh, quiero ver, Edgar, what do you do, Edgar? Edgar? I am a study. Ah, uh, you are a student. So you say, I am a student. I am a student. How do you like it? I love it. I love it. Excellent. You love it. So, hágale las mismas preguntas a otro compañero o compañera. What do you do? Y how do you like it? What do you do, Alejandro? I am a student. <laughs> how do you like it? And I really like it. Excellent, Alejandra. Thank you so much, Edgar and Alejandra. Now, Alejandra, can you ask the same two questions to another classmate? Uh, Elizabeth. Lisette, perdón. Uh, what do you do? What do you do? I'm sorry. What do you do? What you do? What do you do? Suena como trabalengua, ¿verdad? What do you do? <laughs> sí. No worries, yeah. Francis. What do you do? I am an assistant. Uh, can you uh, repeat you it, please? Like I am an assistant. Oh, you're an assistant. Okay, assistant. Assistant, okay. assistant. Okay. Do you like it? I love it. Excellent. Thank you so much, ladies. Lisa, can you continue with another classmate? Um, Diana, what do you do? I am a student. How do you like it? I really like it. Really like it. Okay, thank you so much. Lisa. Continue, Diana. Um, Sarita Rivera. What do you do, Sarita? Sarita? Well, you can ask another classmate. Sorry. Preguntémosle a otro compañero o compañera. Um, Alexander Ruiz. What, what do you do, Alexander? I am a student. How do, how do, uh, how how do, do you, you like it? Excellent. If I love it. Very nice, Alexandra, continue. Um, Alinda, how do you do? I am a content. Um, how? How? Do you? Do you like? Do you like? like? It. How do you like it? How do you like it? I love it. But sometimes I hate it. Okay. <laughs> Cuando le toca el fin de mes, va a ser yeah. cortes. <laughs> okay, that's perfect. Can you continue, Linda, with another classmate? Con Emma. Mm -hmm. Emma Aguilar. What did you do, Emma? I am a coach. How do you like it? I like the number. <laughs> <laughs> okay, so two accountants. Interesting. You love it. Okay, Emma, continue with another classmate. Emma? Uh, Miss Carmona. 
Okay, Luis. What do you do? I am manager. How do you like it? Yes, I like it. <laughs> okay. So uh, we're going to stop here. You did a very nice job. Tomorrow we will continue practicing questions and probably I think that we will finish unit number three. Mañana aún tenemos clases y ya a partir de la siguiente semana ya solo vamos a tener lunes a jueves. Lunes a jueves van a ser dos semanas más. Avancen por favor en la plataforma. Ya estamos en la sección 3 y cualquier cosa que necesiten ayuda solo escriban. Ok. okay. Okay. Thank you, okay, thank you so much and see you tomorrow. You. Sleep well. Bye. See you tomorrow. Bye. 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 Bye.